my gosh, I forgot to pollinate the strawberry flowers at North Park School for Innovation. How sweet it is to be loved by you. See our garden tower, please. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Plants are what the world needs. Sequoia, we're gonna have to ski all night to get there. We gotta go now, we gotta do some pollinating. Let's go, Sequoia. Don't worry, Mr. Mraz and Sequoia. Remember, your STEM students are all about sustainability. They have been the pollinators just like the bees. Before we get into the amazing world of pollination, let's slow down a bit. Let's show our hot friends how the tower garden journey all began. First, in the fall, our green team collected many strawberry plant runners. These are baby strawberry plants that grow off of the adult plants. Then, students learned about the different parts and functions of the tower garden system. Here you can see fourth grade students holding the different parts of the tower garden. Students took turns adding water to the tank. Each class kept track of how many liters they put in. Then the baby strawberry plants are placed into the soil-free rock wool and then placed into the cups. The rock wool allows for the roots to get the right amount of moisture. After adding the water, we had to measure the right amount of minerals to mix in with the water. We want our strawberry plants to be healthy. Most often, plants' roots get the nutrients they need through the soil. However, in the tower garden, the plants get the nutrients through the water that is pumped to the top of the tower and cascades or falls down and returns back to the tank. We had to continuously take samples of the water and mineral solution from the tank to test the pH level. The pH shows the level of acidity. The pH has a scale of acidity from 0 to 14. Water is neutral at 7. Strawberries do best when the pH level is around 6. That means they like slightly acidic conditions. Buzzy the bee, I know you love to sing, but Buzzy, I would like to sing to you. Yes! How sweet it is to be a pollinator's friend. Let's hear it for the bees now. How sweet it is to be a pollinator's friend. I love those pollinators. Speaking of pollinators, bees, like Buzzy, are so important to our planet. There are so many important pollinators that we need to protect and create habitat for, such as bees, butterflies, birds, and other amazing animals. Even people can be superhero pollinators. This is especially true when plants are being grown indoors in sustainable and innovative ways. In our next Hop episode, you will meet many of North Park's superhero pollinators. They are busy pollinating the strawberry plants in the tower garden. Some teachers, like Mrs. Voita, even like to dress up as one of nature's pollinators. Before we end, Buzzy the Bee and I would like to share a few impressive facts about the tower garden. Tower garden only uses 10% of the land and water used by a traditional garden. Let's take a look at the next impressive fact. Plants in a tower garden grow up to three times faster than in a traditional garden. Now, for the last impressive fact of this hop episode. Tower gardens use the same gardening technology, aeroponics, that NASA uses. See you at the next hop episode on pollination of part two of the tower garden.